Hello, how you doing guys, man? Thanks so much for your time, you know, another time. Thank you for coming back. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for all your donation and everything that you have done for me in the past. And, you know, I appreciate donations that you have sent to me is a lot. You guys is pulling me, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you send me so much money, I felt like maybe I should just do a refund. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. I appreciate it for you spoiling me, me. Now let's go. So question number three, let's see. Uh, late FX. So given here FX uh, equal to X minus one, we have a step function, which has a linear equation in quadratic. Whereby X are from less than three and X is than three. Determine limit X equal to two from the right. When they say this means from the left, excuse me. Means from the left, FX and the limit X equal to two from the right. This means from the right. This not positive two is from the right, f of x. Show that the limit f of x exists. Oh, so we have to show the limit f of x exists, but of a two. So for us to show this means the limit on the left hand side must be equal to the limit on the right hand side. The last one, show if function continuous or discontinuous x equal two and explain why. Now let's go to the business now. This is easy work, man. Now let's go. So what I'm gonna do, okay? Now what I'm gonna do. Let's say limit equal to 2 plus from the negative. Now, I have to look here, okay. Which one from the negative? If we say x less than 2 or x greater than 2, which number approach 2 from the negative? <laughs> Come on. 2 is somewhere here because look. 0, 1, 2, 3. Oh, so this is something from the left. This is something from the right. So I'll go for this function here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, they say limit x equal to 2. What is a function? So I'll use this function because we know x approach 2 from the left is going to be lying in here. So, okay, so now x equal 2, so we're going to plug in here. So x approach 2, what are we going to do? Excuse me. I'm going to say 2, 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Oh, okay. So, excuse me. So we're going to say for this one here, it's same as say, okay, this same as say uh, limit. x approach equal to 2 from the negative but what is a function i'll say x minus 1 and then we're going to put the value of 2 here 2 minus 1 equal to 1 okay so limit on right left hand side we have a rate of 10. now we want to go for limit on a uh approach 2 from the right so look 2 from the right look this is 2 but i went from the right because 2 3 4 5 6 so from the right means we're going to take this function here okay so I'm going to say limit x approach to 2, but now what we're going to do, we're going to substitute the value of out of x in there. So for which function, I'll take x squared minus 4x plus 6. So this, let me say, our x equal to 2, so it's going to be 2 squared equal to 4 minus 2 times 4 equal to 8. 4 minus 8, negative 4, plus 6 equal to positive 2. Oh, so right hand side limit equal to 2, but left hand side limit equal to 1. So for that case, limit on the left hand side is not equal to the limit of right hand side. So now for 3.3, .3, they say, show that this limit exists. Oh, so it's like we have it from the right and from the left. But now it doesn't have a light or left. It only have just only two. So this is a condition they always say. Okay, it's a condition here. For this limit here, they ask us to do, see this limit here? Uh, which is for limit of f of x whereby x approach to 2 to exist means limit from the left means this it must be equal to limit from the right but for this case they're not equal so means is no one exists so to exist for this for you can say here for this limit to exist this condition the face condition must be you know must work but for this case it does not exist so you say this it doesn't exist for this case it does not exist why because limit on the left hand side which we had it already equal to one is not equal to two so for this case we're gonna say one is not equal to 2. For that case, this limit, it does not exist. So for the third one, you have already explained. So for the function to continue or not to continue, phase of all, we have a lot of conditions. But one of the condition limit must exist. So since already does not exist, means the function is not going to continue. Now, 
what how if it was continuous how was it be continuous how excuse me how okay what if for example it was uh, it was exist will be the function continuous x equal to there's another condition which we have have check we we supposed to check as well but that will be one of the conditions that will determine whether our function exists or does not so for this case i say show sure, if you could explain why oh so now for 3.4 we say it doesn't exist it does not continue it does or it's not continuous say it doesn't continue or it's not continuous it says not continue why because limit of f of x whereby x approach equal to 2 is doesn't exist it's as simple as that you know what i'm saying now let's draw a graph even if they didn't ask but let me show you now how to draw a graph of this uh, this function so this is how we're gonna draw a graph okay now this architecture plane here okay i'm we'll gonna draw a very small graph and more bigger so this is y and this is x okay now let's do this i hope you can see there okay so we need this function here to draw our graph let me well, so now let's draw the graph for this. So drawing the graph is very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do, so first and foremost, let me get table value, right? That's gonna make my life easy. So we say, okay, let's draw a table value of the face one. Table value, it's not necessary, but you know, it's gonna make your life easy. So the face one is gonna be y, fx equal to x minus one. So x minus one, and they say this is the value of x. So they say x is less than three, means you can start here from three, two, one, because it's less than three, zero, Negative one, negative two. There's no limit like where you should stop. But I, you know, I don't want to write a lot, man. Come on, man. It's just some. Um, it's fine. If I take three, substitute here. Three minus one equal two. If I take uh two, two minus one equal two. One. Now, because you take all the value. Now, one. One minus one equal to zero. Now you go to uh zero. Zero minus one equal two. Negative one. Now you negative one is going to be negative two. Negative two. Negative three. Oh, so we got table value for the first one. So we can draw or we can get also table value of the second one. So when you draw, we just draw one solve. It's not necessary, but to make life easy. Now for the table value of the second one. Okay, x, okay, what is a y? Our f of x equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. Okay, plus 6. Now let's go uh just some. Okay, x is greater or equal to 2. What does that mean? It means I can start from 2. Okay. Let's say this is gonna be 2, 2, 3, whatever value we got. Okay, let's say this is 2. Three, four, five, six. Because they say greater than two. Okay. If you take two substitute here, two, two square equal to four. Okay. Equal to four, and then uh, two times four equal to eighty. Four minus uh, eight equal to negative four plus uh, equal to two. Now substitute all of them in the calculator. Check a calculator. Plug here three, three equal to nine. Nine minus uh, twenty-four. Oh, nine minus twenty. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen plus six equal to. Uh, somewhere there uh, should be three. Oh no 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 three. Three square equal to nine. This can be nine minus. This can be twelve. Twelve plus six. Okay, this is negative three. Three. But you can plug all of them. Okay, so this is gonna give you six. This is gonna be eleven. And this is gonna be eighteen, etc. etc. This is gonna be twenty-seven for seven. So we have all the coordinate. So what we can do now, we can just draw what they uh, this graph on a Cartesian plane. Very easy. So I'm gonna say oh, okay. Now let's go and draw our graph now. This is y and this is our x. You know what I'm saying? Y and x. Now we go. So the first value of x here, if you look careful, right? I'll try to look careful there. Can you see there? Excuse me. What the value of x? They say here, x, the first one, is start from 3 but excluding okay this 3 is going to be excluding x3 y2 because when you say 3 y2 okay when x3 1 2 3 y2 2 but it's excluding exclude let's say this 1 2 excluding now let's go when uh x equal 2 y1 when x equal 2 let's say this is 3 1 0 negative 1 negative 2 etc now when x equal 2 2 y equal to 1 2 y equal to 1 somewhere here okay now 1 0 1 0 0, negative 1, negative 1. So we see this graph go this way. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the second one, 2, 2 means 2 and 2. Let's say 1, 2 somewhere here. 
It's a rough sketch, guys, right? So, so, oh, why the, I don't want to go other distance now. Three, 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 with three. So this three, three, and three somewhere here. Okay, now we go four and six. Four, all the way, let's say six here. So remember, this is quadratic, so it's going to be parabolic like this. It's a rough sketch, guys. You know what I'm saying? So now, can you see? So this is a sketch or the graph of, of this one right here. You know what I'm saying? Of this function here. Now, if you had to use a graph, okay, if you had to use a graph and say, oh, x, f of x equal to uh, 2 from the right and f of x equal to 2 from the left. Let's go now and just see for fun, okay. Okay, now, if I reach from the, uh, from, uh, let's start from the left. If I reach from the left, f of x, approach 2, look, what is going to give me? It's going to give me y equal to 1. Oh, so if I go f of x, limit x approach equal to 2 from the left look if from the left you're going to touch this graph because if you reach from 2 look i'm going to touch this graph on the left look 2 here is a graph i'm going to see you see i'm going to start to see this graph of linear if i come from the left you see this is a graph i'm going to start to touch not this me oh so if i come from the left means the value of y equal to 1 positive I mean this is face graph i'm going to start to involve with look you see but if i come from the right look which graph i'm going to start to be in love with or the graph which i'm going to touch it face of course this because this one's top here oh that's why i use this graph so when x equal to 2 what the value of y look when x equal to 2 means this is a graph i'm going to be dealing with y equal to 2 also oh so if i move from the right means limit f of x X approach to 2 from the right means, look, I move from the right. Oh, this is a graph I'm going to start to, boom, I bump this before this. So this is a graph I'm going to deal with. So means when X equal 2 means I'm going to read the value on this, which equal to 2. Oh, so limit from the right is not equal to the limit from the left. So for that case, the graph, excuse me, uh, the, uh, the, it doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? It does not continue. So for that case, we say limit from the left, limit uh, f of x, x approach to 2 from the right is not equal to limit f x, x approach to 2 from the left. You know what I'm saying? Because from the right to get 2 is not equal to 1 from the left. For that case, the limit does not exist. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. And it's not continuous too. You know what I'm saying? Even though we see the value of 2 is in, in both. You know what I'm saying? Means it's the member for a domain. Means it's in both graphs. So yes, it's fine. But since it does not exist, then, you know, since it does, it does not exist, this effects because left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So, means the graph is not continuous. Because we got a lot of conditions for continu continuity. For continuity, means left hand side limit must be equal to the right hand side limit. Also, this value must be for both. It must be domain for both function there, one and the other one. So look, man. Thanks a lot for your time. If you got any question, and thanks for if you have any question, please leave a comment on the uh, comment section. To assist you, you know what I'm saying. Thanks a lot of peace and a mind. Bye bye. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate, man. You know, like I say, you know, we do this in a project to motivate a lot of people. And I truly appreciate your praise and your donation. Me, so I'm Hamish. You know, it's a lot of people who are new here in this channel. You know, in this program. Okay, so if you face time right here in these intellectual things, intellectual property, come right here, right here. See here, subscribe and leave a comment, I'm going to be more than happy to help you. Another thing is, again, again, I want to say thanks so much for all the people who donated to me, who donated, it means a lot. It's a lot of money you guys are saying to me. It means a lot because, you know, you know, I got a lot of projects that we're doing, feeding the, uh, the people, homeless people, motivates, or oh, taking all these kids from the street and bring their dream to reality. So thanks a lot for all your donation. It means a lot.
a Muslim South Sahara, you forgive example, for example, South Africa, a lot of students that have a problem with the mathematics, so mathematics and science. And you know, in the world we live in, we get a lot of people who do uh, science and research because of the things like we're facing right now, this year, 2020, like the war and stuff, and people that have a shortage to doctors, that have a shortage to engineers and stuff. And even other causes too, but my main focus is Math and computer programming and coding like Java, C sharp, and PHP, and JavaScript. So this will be the main focus. So now we're gonna drop it out. That is so So you can uh, we're gonna put like uh, subscription fees, which is very reasonable, where you can access all the materials. So we're gonna have the causes, causes where you can uh, purchase the cause. You know what I'm saying? But of course, this is for free, and most of the material here is very accessible. Same with these, but it's like some of the codes are going for free, and some of the codes depend on the type of codes. But our main focus is to save a lot of people, save people from uh, one place like uh, uh, corporate, uh, corporate, you know what I'm saying, the corporate world. So save a lot of people, and also going to travel to a lot of places. So 2020, we travel to other countries. You know what I'm saying? I go invitation to a lot of countries. You know what I'm saying? So you will see me. In your village, you know, I'm a, boy, I'm a village boy, so you know, I'm gonna go to a village and go to another place, saving a lot of kids, share with them, teach them knowledge, and that I can change their life, okay? That can be changed to our society, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm on your village, economy, the office will drop very, very soon, you know what I'm saying? I got a big team. Stay tuned. I'm gonna announce when the app is gonna be dropped. I believe that most of the people that have a smartphone. So. Yeah, you gonna get, I don't wanna say a lot, you gonna see, so thanks a lot for your time.